Welcome to the Crush Clove. This week we're doing Instant Pot braised short ribs with a side of maple glazed carrots. For all of you at home who might not have an Instant Pot, this recipe can be done in a regular oven or in a slow cooker and we'll have those directions um, on our website on the link below. So let's get started. We're going to start with our short ribs. We've got our beautiful short ribs right here. I'm going to set our Instant Pot on the saute setting on high. We're going to wait for the screen right here to say hot. So we're going to hit the saute button and then we're just going to let it sit and then eventually this will say hot and then that's when we can start searing our meat. While this is getting hot, we're going to season our meat with some salt and pepper. Now that it says hot, we're gonna sear our short ribs. So we wanna go one to two at a time. We don't wanna overcrowd the pot because then you won't get that nice caramelization on your meat. Hit it with some oil. Now we're going to take them out and set them aside. We're going to set these aside. Keep your Instant Pot on the saute setting. And now we're going to saute our vegetables. One cup of roughly chopped onion. One cup of carrot. One cup of roughly chopped celery and seven crushed cloves of garlic. So your Instant Pot's still hot. You probably still have some oil in there from the beef. So we're just gonna do the onions, carrots, and celery first. Let them saute down a little bit. Then we'll add our garlic. These have been going for a little bit. It's time to add our garlic. Don't worry about these brown bits. That's flavor. We're gonna deglaze the pan with some red wine here in a second, and it'll bring up all that flavor. Here we have a half a cup of red wine, and we're gonna use it to deglaze the pan. Then just scrape the bottom of the pan, as the alcohol evaporates. The alcohol in our wine has evaporated. We've reduced it down just a little bit. We're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. So we have a cup and a half of beef broth, one tablespoon of Worcestershire, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two bay leaves, half a teaspoon of fresh sage minced up, and one teaspoon of fresh thyme minced up. And then salt and pepper. And then of course, our short ribs. You can always add more salt later if need be. So what we're gonna do now, everything's in there, we're gonna set it to the pressure cook setting. So for pressure cook, we're gonna push this pressure cook button right here, and we want it on high. If it's not on high, push this pressure level button, and it'll switch it to high, and we want it on more. So it says normal right now. We're gonna press this button again to get it onto more. And then 45 minutes is exactly what we want. We're gonna let it go for that, and then we'll release the steam for 15 minutes once that's finished. And then make sure this little tabby is put to the ceiling, not the venting. We need to make sure that pressure stays in, but when the 45 minutes is done, we'll switch it and all that steam's gonna come out. Make sure you wait the whole 15 minutes. You don't want to burn yourself. 
so keep it on the ceiling. It says on, the time will start when it's preheated. So it's just preheating right now. So don't worry if the timer's not going yet. It'll come up, it'll make a little beep sound when it's ready to go and you can just let it be. All done, we're gonna flip this to the vent and let it sit for 15 minutes with the vent open. Do not open the lid until after 15 minutes. Now that our short ribs are almost done, we're gonna go ahead and cook our glazed carrots. We have some salt and we have some pepper for our seasoning. We have two cups of carrots that we've cut into batons. We have four tablespoons of butter. We have one tablespoon of crushed red chili flakes and one third cup of maple syrup. We're going to get our pan warm and drop in our butter. They're melted and add our carrots. Cook these on a high heat. We want to try to get the carrots to cook and have a little caramelization before we add uh, the maple syrup. Carrots are almost cooked. We're going to add our maple syrup. We're going to let this reduce by half and then add our seasonings, our salt and pepper, and our crushed red pepper. You start to know the glaze getting thicker by the bubbles starting to slow down, and they'll start getting thicker. We don't want our sauce to burn. So now would be a good time to add our seasoning. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. And our crushed red peppers. And stir that up a little bit more. Excellent. And just let that cook for about two more minutes. All right, we're gonna set these to the side. These let these cool down just a little bit, and go ahead and start plating up. It's vented for 15 minutes. Let's take a peek at our short ribs. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. We're gonna take our biggest one, this guy, and make sure it's nice and tender. Which it looks like it is. So the fork goes in and out super easy. We're good to go. You don't want a whole lot of resistance at all. Here we have our finished plate. We took some of the juice from the Instant Pot and added a cornstarch slurry to make a sauce for our dish. And we decided to serve it with some mashed potatoes as well, along with the carrots, obviously, just for a little extra yum. It smells so good in here. Let's, like, seriously, I can't wait to eat. And let's give this a try. So tender, oh my god. Just pull it with the fork. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. I got a little that. sneak peek, I'm not gonna lie. So soft. So delicious. Give the carrots a try. Mm. Oh my god. Slight crunch. Nice gentle heat. This dish is Try very this good. out. Oh my god, very so good. good. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the links below. If you don't have an Instant Pot, don't worry. You can still make this recipe. We have the other options on our website. It's below in the description. Thank you. Bye. See you guys next time. Hello, and welcome to the Crush Club. We are doing braised short ribs and maple glazed carrots in an Instant Pot. Welcome to the Crush Club. <laughs> That's not ready. What are you doing? What are you doing, chicken? <laughs> Maple glazed carrots. <laughs> Maple glazed carrots. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Why can't I say glazed? <laughs> Welcome to the Crush Club. This week we're doing some Instant Pot braised short ribs. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Here we have some salt and pepper. We have two cups of. Oh, wait. This isn't going. <sighs> And don't worry if you don't have an Instapot at home, those oh, recipes can be done. Oh, I was just oh, like... I'm not paying attention. 